Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn another integration problem. This is very important and the question is 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx. This is more difficult than it seems. So let's start. Before solving this question I want you to know a few properties. You should be familiar with a few properties. The first one is you should know that sin 90 minus x is cos x. 90 means pi by 2. Second property you should know a few log properties that log m plus log m is log m plus log n is log mn and log m upon log m minus log n is log m upon n. Okay. Another property, integration, definite, definite integral property, if you have any limit 0 to a, you can write it 0 to a, f, a minus x, dx. Okay. Uh, and another property that if you have 0 to a, fx, dx, it is 0 to a, f, t, dt, means you can just change the variable. In place of x, you can just write t. Another property and the most important one, 0 to 2a fx dx is equal to 2 times 0 to a means this 2 comes out if we have in which condition we can write this if we have 2a minus x is equal to just fx. So if this limit minus x is this, you can write this as this. And if 2a minus x is minus fx, you can write it as 0. But we will have this situation in this question, so we are going to use this. Please take down all these, pause the video here and take down all these properties. Now I am going to erase. So let's start solving this question. First, take it as i is this. Now, we will apply the, you know, the property 0 to pi by 2 log sine pi by 2 minus x in dx. What, which property did I use here? 0 to a fx dx a minus x dx. Okay, this property. And this will be cos x dx. It is still i because the same thing. Okay, uh, it's the same thing. Now we will add equation number one and equation number two. So we will have i plus i, two i, zero to pi by two. Limit is same. Okay. 0 to pi by 2. It will be log. You know log n plus log n is log m into n. So it's going to be sin x cos x and dx. Now to multiply by 2 and divide by 2 here. So we will have this situation and now this becomes okay 2i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 you know log 2 sin x cos x is log sin 2x and uh, now this log 2 is in denominator so it will be minus log 2 dx we are gonna integrate this separately because it is very long integration so we are gonna this integrate this separately and it has become now we will integrate this thing and it is log 2 into x and now write the limit limits here and after applying limits it will be pi by 2 
log 2 okay you can apply an integration constant c1 now come to this i1 i1 is integration of 0 to pi by 2 log sine 2x dx okay dx here if i put 2x as t i'll have 2x is equal to dt it means dx is dt upon 2 also limits since x is tends to pi by 2 here if you put x pi by 2 for 2 and 2 will cancel and t is pi so this becomes now limit 0 to pi log sin t dt and as you know that we can change t variable and this this was also property so 0 to pi log sin x dx okay also uh, sorry it was uh, dt upon 2 and this 2 will come here so so far you have have you understood everything now there was a property i'll break this 2 into pi by 2 log sin x dx you know and there was the last property since log sin you know since sin pi minus x is again sin x so we can use that property we can take this 2 out if you take this 2 out we will have 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx okay i have taken this 2 out as the property says and now we have this and uh, and this thing has become just i you know 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx is i you know i same thing so we can take this i1 as i okay so a final few steps 2i is equal to in place of i1 i'll write i minus pi by 2 log 2 okay and um, you can write plus c1 and this i will come to this side so i is minus pi by 2 log 2 and finally the final this constant integration sign i will write just as c so this is the final answer okay so you could have taken this c1 also doesn't matter much all right so i hope it is clear to you if you like the video share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care